Yes, it's Jumble. And here's your host, Jeff Stevenson. <laughs> And welcome to Jumble. Yes, the show where you can not only try to solve our cryptic clues, nanograms, but you can have a few laughs and a few chuckles along the way. I've already had a laugh this morning. I don't know if you read in the paper about the guy yesterday. He was arrested for going down Oxford Street wearing nothing but a roof tile. Apparently, he went to court and the judge let him off, not guilty, and he left the court with a clean slate. <laughs> but you better believe... I tell you, I don't believe it. You better believe this. We've got some great contestants on Jumble this morning. And if they can solve those clues and anagrams, they could win for themselves up to £500. <laughs> we had two teams, each consisting of a member of the public and a celebrity who is hot stuff with words. And what's hotter stuff than a curry? Especially when his first name is Mark. Say hello to Mark Curry. <laughs> Never heard that one before, have you? <laughs> How are you, mate? I'm all right. Welcome back. Thank a you. survivor of our first series? Just about, yeah. The voice is going. The voice oh. is going. Well, it is early in the morning, Mark. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so you've just been on tour with Charlie's Aunt? I have, yeah, for Did 15 she know? weeks. <laughs> so it was a tour of the play of Charlie's it Aunt? It was a centenary year this year, 100 years ago. Brandon Thomas wrote a fantastic yeah. farce. And we've had uh, 16 weeks on the road, and it's been terrific. Great, Great audiences. Great and, part to uh, play. And nice part, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely part, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. And uh, so now you're, you're more into the acting uh, than the TV presented. Do you prefer the acting to the TV presented? Uh, well, the grass is always greener, you know. If you're presenting radio programmes, you want to do television. If you're acting in the theatre, you want to present. But I'm doing some presenting, actually. Oh, yeah? It's this, uh, it's this new quiz show. It's, um, it's um, anagrams and stuff. I think it's called Jumble. <laughs> oh, it's a takeover bit, is it? <laughs> Mark, introduce us to your partner. This is Pat. Now, Pat tells me that her favourite television personality is Jeff Stevenson. Really? She also tells me that her favourite hobby is lying. Oh, right. <laughs> Pat, I understand you've got a, 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 a nickname, Batty Pat. That's right. How did you get this nickname? <laughs> well, it was from the Keith Michelle thing, the Hissing Sid song. My nephew... What was that, Hissing Sid? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hissing Sid. Yeah. My nephew called me Batty Pat, and I called him Timmy Toad. Great. But you're not going to be Batty tonight. Well, this morning. <laughs> this morning. <Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> but you see, Mark, you're living on an Australian clock. This, this man, he's spent a lot of time in Australia. So where Mark is right now, it's night time. But where we are, it's actually morning. So Pat. <laughs> Pat, I understand you spent a lot of time in, uh, in Disneyland. A couple of weeks. Yeah. What, what did you like about it? Oh, it was just magical. It yeah. was fascinating and the, the, the Disney world was just... Magical. Yeah. So if you win the £500 pounds today, would you go back there? I'd probably go to the other one, the Disney. The one in, in uh, California. Florida? Yeah. Right, uh, in, in California. So you yeah. Yeah, okay, right. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. welcome to the show, Pat. Uh, so it's our first team of Pat and Mark Curry. Our second team, will you please welcome a man who is not only at home in his back garden, he's also a front man too. You've seen him on Pebble Mill, he's here today in Norwich. Say hello to Alan Titchmarsh. <laughs> Yeah. So you started as a gardener and you uh, sort of moved over to TV presenting now. Yeah, I found a bar of soap. It was wonderful. Washed my hands off and yeah. cleaned up a bit and went inside. Yeah. So uh, you enjoy the presenting? Love it, yes. I mean, I'd, I'll always be a gardener. I mean, I've yeah. always got my me, me hands in the muck and my wellies on. So I'll always, always be doing the gardening. And I write a, about gardening quite a bit. But I quite like, I'm nosy, you see. Yeah. So the prospect of sitting next to somebody like Judith and saying, now tell me. You know, it's wonderful, isn't it? It's licensed yeah. prying, basically. But we were talking earlier, I mean, you're also a frustrated actor as well, aren't you? You like uh, the acting? Yes, Not yes. I'm afraid so, Mark. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid I am, just slightly. You know, it's much more natural to talk like that, isn't it? Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you're talking like that, but yet you're from Ilkley Moor, Bartat. I am. I was yeah. born in the Heather. Born in the Heather? <laughs> well, in a maternity home in the Heather, <laughs> yes. I, yes, I was actually on the edge of Ilkley Moor. I was, I was born. And when did you move from Yorkshire? Oh, I was, I was getting on for 20 before I went, so I still say bath and grass, you see. Yeah. <laughs> you still, it's still there. It's, it's a language of its own. I remember the first time I went to Yorkshire, I was in this pub in Leeds, true story, and uh, this fellow said, hey, I was in pub the other day, this block drank 14 bottles of whiskey straight down. I said, was it neat? He said, no, middle of the day. <laughs> that is true. Anyway, my, anyway, Alan, introduce us to your partner. I will introduce you, you see, in case I feel a little faint, I need nursing experience. <laughs> so I've got Judith. Lovely. Nice to meet you, Judith. And you are a nurse? Yes, practice nurse, Dr. Practice. Krishna Swami's surgery. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Advertising the surgery? <laughs> <laughs> well, I see. And uh, you enjoy it? Yes, very much. And I want, to I want you to tell us how you met your husband. I was a waitress down in Felixstowe on the seafront in a restaurant, and he was a policeman, and he used to come in for free teas and coffees until he invited me out and I started charging him. <laughs> oh, really? For the tea and coffee? For the tea and coffee. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but, <laughs> and I understand, and little Dickie Bird tells me, that you're a great fan of the Chippendales. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Tell us the story. He bought you a tape, didn't he, for he Christmas? He bought me a video tape. And I can't way back then in Croydon, was it? About seven months ago. That's right. Yeah. And I can't stand them. So I took the tape back to... Uh, um, the shop. Woolworths, the shop. <laughs> And I said, oh, I've already got one of these. Can I change it? And they laughed and they said, oh, you sexy thing. <laughs> so you've got to tell me, what did you replace the tape with? Neil Sedaka. Neil Sedaka. Yeah. Crying in the rain or something like that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the show. We wish you all the very best of luck on Jumble. Let's get on with the morning's proceedings. Let's play the game. Let's have a look at our first cartoon. <laughs> Let's take a look at our first cartoon. This cartoon is worth £25 and here it is. There's the cartoon, and here is the clue that we want you to solve. Listen out, teams. Henry VIII voted for leaving London and travelling north. Henry VIII voted for leaving London and travelling north. We made a decision earlier over breakfast, and Pat and Mark, you are going to bat first. Who's the yeller and who's the speller? I'm yelling. And I'm smelling. I'm smelling. you talk. <laughs> You're what? We come to the first. Of our four jumbled words, each word relates to our cartoon. You have 15 seconds to unscramble it. If you do so, Pat, we are going to give you £10 and a crack at solving our cryptic clue cartoon. Now, Mark, yep. you can only spell no vocal help from you whatsoever. And Pat, you can only yell, you cannot spell. We wish you all the very best of luck. Here comes your first jumbled word. 15 seconds are yours to sort it out. Starting now. Ticket. That's yeah. it. Correct. Spell it out, Mark. Well done. Now, viewers at home, you will notice that two of our letters have now taken their place on red squares. These are now our key letters, and I'm going to take them, the I and the C, and I'm going to place them over here, underneath our jumble cartoon. And, Pat, I'm going to ask you, Henry VIII voted for leaving London and travelling north. Any ideas? Ice cream. Ice cream? No, it's not. Over we go. <laughs> right. Second jumble coming up. 15 seconds on the clock. Go. Signal. Yes, well done. Spell it out. Well done, Mark. We we'll take the S and the G. Over we go once more. In goes the G. S there. Pat. Henry VIII voted for leaving London and travelling north. Igloo Castle. <laughs> Igloo Castle? No, it's not. Over we go. Third jumble coming up. Fifteen seconds on the clock. Go! Um, oh. in siding. Oh, yes, well it done. is siding. Well done. <laughs> we'll take the S and the N. Over with, I'm going to hop over now because I'm getting bored with walking over. The N goes there, the S goes there. Pat, Henry VIII voted for leaving London and travelling north. What do you think? King's Cross. Yes, it is. Take your place in. <laughs> well done. Yeah. So, Pat and Mark, you're up and running. You have £55. <laughs> now, we come to our second cartoon. This is worth £25. Let's take a look at it. There is the cartoon. Here's the clue that we want you to solve. Listen out, Alan. Listen out, Judith. Come clean and stop him. Come clean and stop him. Now, who's the yeller? Who's the speller? I'm the yeller. I'm the speller. OK, up you pop. <laughs> And don't forget, Alan, you can only spell, you cannot yell, no vocal help from you whatsoever. And Judith, you can only yell, you cannot spell. You have 15 seconds, go. Water. Yes, well done. <laughs> so, the T and the E on red squares, there are our key letters. We go over to the board. In goes the T, in goes the E. Judith, come clean and stop him. Any ideas? Teeth paste. <laughs> Toothpaste? <laughs> yeah. No, it's not that. OK, second jumble coming up. 15 seconds on the clock. Go. Grime. Yes, well done. <laughs> right. We 
take the G and the E. Over to the board. In goes the E. In goes the G. Come clean and stop him, Judith. Telegraph. Telegraph. <laughs> no, it's not. Over. Third jumble coming up. 15 seconds on the clock. Go. Clean. Yes, well done. <laughs> doing very well. In the end, and I'm going to hop over here. Here we go. In goes the N. In goes the E. Judith, come clean and stop him. What do you think? Glitter. Glitter. No, it's not. Are you bluffing? Yeah. <laughs> you might. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a minute. OK. Fourth jumble coming up. 15 seconds. Go. Uh, dirty. Yes, well done. <laughs> Alan, if you would like to walk this way, you might do a bit of spelling. Come over here. All right. Put the T there, the R there, the D there. Have you got it, Judith? Come clean and stop him. No, Alan, get in, do some spelling. Come clean and stop him. Um, no? Dread. Uh, oh. Gen generator. Ah, gen ah, 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 I think Alan went ah. in. Detergent. Yeah, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Thank you, Why not? It's <laughs> Come clean and stop him. Detergent. You see, if you stop him, you deter a gent. Detergent. <laughs> Make things come clean. Well done. Alan and Judith, you have just scored £65. Well done. Now, viewers at home and also members of the studio audience, did you guess that one earlier? Because let me just tell you, there are tactics on Jumble. Sometimes it's the way that you play. It can pay to delay. And remember, the more anagrams that you get, the more money you build up, and the more you stand a chance of going through to our final for the £200 Cryptic Clue cartoon. On to round two. This cartoon is worth £50. Let's have a look at it. This is the cartoon. There's the cartoon, and here is the clue that we want you to solve. A great frenzy follows the annual award for a writer. A great frenzy follows the annual award for a writer. Mark and Pat, who's yelling? Who's spelling? I'm... <laughs> Go on. What I'm do you spelling. You're spelling and, I'm and you're yelling. Up you pop. <laughs> Fifteen seconds on the clock. First jumble coming up. Don't forget you know the rules. Loads of yelling, no, no spelling. And loads of spelling, no yelling, no vocal help. Off you go. Fifteen seconds. First word coming up. Um... um... Um, um, leap, uh, replay. No, no, no. Um, it relates to player, player. Yes, well done. Well done. Spell it out. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Lovely. There you go. We take the L, Ooh. a learner. Over we go. We put the L on the right. Now, Mark. A great frenzy follows the annual award for a writer. What do you think? Um, something Lord, something... Are you bluffing? Liar, totally. Right, OK, <laughs> over you go. Second jumble, 15 seconds on the clock, go. Um, stage. Yes, well done. <laughs> Take the S and the A. And we put the A there, the S there. Mark Curry, a great frenzy, follows the annual award for a writer. What do you think? Uh, uh, say, uh, story, story uh, Lord, I don't know. Story no Lord, idea. I think you're bluffing. Don't We're going to see in just a minute. Third jumble coming up. 15 seconds are yours. Go. Um, right, right. Yes. <laughs> Lovely. You ever wanted to be a writer, Mark? Would I like to be a writer? Yeah. I've got a spell first. Oh, you've got a spell writer. first? <laughs> um, a great Frenzy follows the annual award for a writer. What do you think, Mark? Um, raising Wild. Don't raising know. Wild. Don't no, know. fourth jumble coming up. You may be able to help Mark in just a minute, Pat. 15 seconds on the clock. Go. This is the last one. Um, comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Your subject. <laughs> Take the C, the O, the E, and the D. Over you come, Pat. We may do some spelling. And we put this, the O there, the C there, the E there, and the D there. Mark, have you got it? It's a great Not frenzy. So Follows the onion award for a writer. Do you need Pat to do some spelling? I certainly do. Yes, yeah, go on. Yeah, me. OK, go on, sure. go for it. Oscar Wilde. Yes, well done. Thank <laughs> places. A great frenzy. Follows the onion award for a writer, of course, Oscar Wilde. <laughs> 
So at this point in the game, we have Alan and Judith with £65, but steaming ahead once more, we have Mark and Pat with £145. <laughs> Very good. We come to our fourth cartoon. It really all hinges on this one. Here is the cartoon. Let's have a look at it. It's worth £50. There's the cartoon, and here's the clue we want you to solve, Judith and Alan. Exactly 100 was followed by a lion while she jazzed up the road. Exactly 100 was followed by a lion while she jazzed up the road. Who's yelling? Who's spelling? I'm spelling. I'm yelling. Up you pop. 15 seconds on the clock. First word coming up. Go! Um, Piper. No. no. Uh, um, Pride. Yes. <laughs> well done, Judith. Well done. <laughs> I.E. In goes the E there. In goes the I there. Alan Titchmarsh, exactly 100, was followed by a lion while she jazzed up the road. What do you think? Um, Eiffel Tower uh, made uh, Ida um, not a cluer. I think you're acting <laughs> the duffer and being a bit of a bluffer. <laughs> right over we go. Second jumble. 15 seconds. Go. Oh, um, you're very good at this, Judith. Lyric. Yes. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I normally have a lot of problems with lyrics, so we put the L in there. I preferred Cyril, actually. <laughs> <laughs> right, Alan Titchmarsh, exactly 100, was followed by a lion while she jazzed up the road. What do you think? Lion... Tamer... E um, um, Cyril... No, OK, we go over. Third jumble coming up, 15 seconds on the clock. Go! Chant. Yes, well done. Right, we take the C, A, N. Remember about the bluffing. We put the uh, C there, we put the A there, and we put the N there. Alan, exactly 100, was followed by a lion while she jazzed up the road. What do you think? Centurion. No, it's not a centurion. Fourth jumble coming up, 15 seconds, go. Um, medley. No. Melody. Yes, well done. <laughs> we take the E L O. The big orchestra. Come over here, Judith. We're going to do some spelling. We put the E there. We put the O there. We put the L there. Do you need Judith to do some spelling? Probably, yes. Okay, I'm very you've got 15 today. seconds. Start in now. Exactly 100 was followed by a Clear lane. She jazzed up the road. Alan Titchmarsh has got it. Cleo Lane. Well done. Take your places. Of course, 100, for which Latin numeral is C, followed by Leo, the lion, that's Cleo. The road is the lane, jazzed up, Cleo Lane. Well done, Alan and Judith, you did very well there. Let me just tell you, at the end of round two, we have Mark Curry and Joyce with £145, but having just edged ahead, that's Alan and Judith with £155. <laughs> We're going to lose you, Pat. Well done, you did very well. Have you had a good morning? Yes, smashing. Thanks. thanks very much for joining us. And will you please say thank you to Pat's celebrity partner, Mr. Mark Curry. Join us in part two when Judith could add another £200 to her score. We'll see you in just a moment. Have a cup of tea and join us back here in a minute. It's getting very excited here. Our team of Alan Titchmarsh and Judith have successfully got through to our final round, and Judith has a chance to add another £200 to her score by solving the cryptic clue that goes with this cartoon. Here is the cartoon. There's the cartoon. <laughs> and here is the clue that we want you to solve. It's a tasteless part in which the smaller one sits on top of the larger one. It's a tasteless part in which the smaller one sits on top of the larger one. Solve that clue, Judith, and another £200 is yours. Here's how you do it. I'm going to show you six jumbled words. They are number one, number two, number three, four, five, and six. Each jumble unscrambles into a word. Each word relates to our cartoon. And each one that you get correct will give you key letters to help you solve the cartoon caption. You have 60 seconds. Are you both ready? 
Yes. I wish you all the very best of luck. Take your positions, please. Now you have 60 seconds. Take your time because I want you to get six out of six. Start now. Stage. Yes, correct. Move on. Number. Correct, move on. Finale. Correct, move on. Re uh, re review. Correct, move on. Pass on that one. Oh. You want, you want to go back to it or...? Division. Oh, I think Alan's got it. Well done. <laughs> Correct. Move on. Now, you've got a bit of time over this. You've got 32 seconds at least. Course. Yes, you've got it. Correct. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Superb. Now, let me just show you. Let me just show you the letters of you. In fact, you've got everyone correct. Six out of six. You've got stage. You've got number. You've got finale. You've got review. You've got division. And you've got course. OK, if you'd both like to come over here, I'll show you how the letters have taken their place on our jumble board. Now, they're in the right words, but they remain jumbled. Now, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to confer. After 10 seconds, I will need an answer. The clue is, it's a tasteless part in which the smaller one sits on top of the larger one. It's a tasteless part in which the smaller one sits on top of the larger one. You have 10 seconds. Start the clock. <laughs> For £200, Judith, Alan. It's a tasteless part in which the smaller one sits on top of the larger one. Any idea? Vulgar fraction! Yeah! yeah. Fantastic! Come over here. Wow! What a way to finish the show this morning. Well done, Judith. Another £200 is yours. You're going to take away with your £355. How are you going to spend it? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll share you it. Know. You're going to share, share it. That's yeah. right. Six Chippendales yeah. video. Yes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so you've had a good morning. We we like to yes, thank lovely. you for being Thanks great very company. Much. Um, well done on the show. Thank Alan Titchmarsh, what can I say? Thanks very much for coming Pleasure. on the show. She did it all. Yeah. <laughs> and we will see you very soon. We'll see you very soon on Jumbo. Have a nice day. Set up. <laughs>